Hi there. Thanks for watching my course, Dental Assisting, Purpose-Driven, Service-Centered Dental Assisting. My name is Dr. David King. I'm a general dentist. I've been practicing general dentistry for about 11 years. In this course, we're going to talk about the basics of general dental assisting. This is the course overview. Uh, in this section of the course, which should be just a few minutes, I'll talk briefly about what the course entails, what type of information you should expect to learn, and some of the goals and outcomes of the course. But first, let's start with this thought. Life isn't always about getting and having, it's about giving and being. I'd like you to consider as you're going through this course, focusing on dental assisting, that you're learning not only how to do something, but also how to serve other people. Um, the subtitle for this course is about being purpose-driven and service-centered. So if we're not service-centered, I feel like there's not a whole lot that we can do to really elevate, lift, and inspire the lives of others. So keep this in mind as we're going through the course. <clears throat> My purpose as your instructor will be to do several things. Number one, introduce you to dental assisting. Number two, help you discover or reinforce your individual why. Why is it that you do this? Why is it that you want to learn more about dental assisting? Teach you the basics of purpose-driven dental assisting, some of the basics unique to dental assisting itself. Um, teach you some specifics of common dental procedures and then give you tools to help you continually improve. Um, we will have several exercises spread throughout the entire course. Um, the purposes are very simple. We're going to assist in your comfort with uh, the different techniques we'll discuss. Teach recall of procedural basics. Allow time for individual consideration to really digest the information that you're gaining. And then give purpose to all the things that we've talked about throughout the course. <clears throat> we'll also have several tests throughout the course. Now these tests are not meant to be really in-depth or very detailed tests like you'd find in a college course. These tests are designed to do several things. Give you an opportunity to bolster or strengthen your knowledge, allow you to demonstrate your knowledge to yourself really, um, provide an opportunity to improve, um, and also to reinforce important key concepts. So let's talk first about why dentistry interests you. And I'd recommend that when we come across these exercises and the uh, tests, go ahead and pause the video uh, and take some time to really contemplate to consider what's going on here. So what is it about dentistry that interests you? Why uh, do you want to get into dentistry? Um, what do I want to get out of doing dentistry? And then why am I in dentistry? Uh, what is my purpose as a dental assistant? Um, what do I want to gain from this course? And how will I use my new knowledge from this course? So like I said, go ahead and pause the video here. Take some time, really think. If you'd like, write these things down. I think it'd be interesting to reconsider at the end of the lecture series um, what you have gained, how much information you've learned, and uh, what you're going to do next. So this is me, uh, Dave King DDS. Again, I've been practicing for Going on 12 years, I came out of dental school in 2006. I went to the University of Missouri, Kansas City School of Dentistry. Um, but before then, I started my college career as a jazz trumpet major um, before uh, spending a semester as a business major and then going into dentistry. Um, you can email me here, and I also have a YouTube channel, which has a bunch of informative and helpful videos that you'll be able to see if you go there. Uh, so again, this is me. I've had a good opportunity several good opportunities over the years to provide some education and have an opportunity to um, uh, do some great uh, teaching and lecturing as you can see. Um, I put together some fairly complicated and very detailed videos um, on my YouTube channel um, specific to CEREC which is a modality for designing crowns, bridges, veneers, inlays, and onlays. Um, which if you're to that point, um, it's very helpful. So it's worthwhile digging into, taking a look um, at my YouTube channel. Again, um, it's Dave King DDS is my YouTube username. All right, so let's talk a little bit about the course. So here is the course. Um, we are right here in the introduction to dental assisting. We're actually in the course overview slightly before it. Um, we'll go through these three items initially to talk about generally what dental assisting is. Uh, we're going to talk about patient advocacy. 
dental assistant responsibilities, um, and then patient interaction skills as well as radiographs. Um, once we do that, we're going to dig into some common dental procedures, such as uh, impression techniques, uh, anesthesia, which is something that the dental assistant assists with, uh, tooth preparation, direct restorations versus indirect restorations, fixed prosthetics, removable prosthetics, oral surgery, endodontics, orthodontics, dental implant prosthetics, and pediatrics. And finally, we'll wrap it all up with a discussion about hygiene, continuing care, and then ongoing personal professional development for the dental assistant. So as you can see, there's a lot going on here. <clears throat> This is our foundation, really our foundation for the course. Dental assisting what it is, how it impacts general dentistry and the dental team, which is really critical that the dental uh, assistant function well with. Uh, patient advocacy, interacting with the dental, uh, dental team, um, or the dental assistant interacting with the patient, the responsibilities of the dental assistant, as well as the patient interactions uh, from a standpoint of being service-centered. And again, continuing care, and professional development. These are all critical to the foundation of a, of a good solid dental assisting education. We'll dive into the dental operatory, um, radiographs, and then all the common dental procedures I mentioned a moment ago, um, as well as hygiene and continuing care, which we discussed briefly as part of the foundation, but they're all, they also take place within that dental operatory. This is where you'll get your hands wet, if you will. So here's the curriculum syllabus. This is all those items 23 of them that I mentioned before broke out into the foundation and also into the dental operatory. And you can see this fits right here into the very top of the screen uh, above the title of the lesson that we're on. So this will be running throughout the entire lecture series of 23 lectures, 23 lessons. Um, and you can see that lesson that we're on will be highlighted in orange, so it'll be very clear where you're at in the entire process. Um, so easy to track, easy to follow along. Um, I recommend that you take this in bites, little chunks. You don't need to take the whole thing all at once. This should not be something that you do in one day unless you really, really want to. But I, I'd advise you to consider breaking it up, um, making sure that you take the time uh, to really learn and grow. Okay, so as I said before, it's a significant time commitment from the standpoint of how much time it will take. This is a rough estimate. Um, 23 sections, roughly 5 to 10 minutes each, which will equate to about 4 hours worth of lecture material. Um, I recommend that you take some notes. You can always go back and review the videos. There's good information that you'll be able to draw on as you go through the course. Um, but it is a big time commitment. Again, one bite at a time is the best way to digest this material. So let's draw back to our um, critical foundation piece, being purpose-driven and service-centered. Um, as I mentioned at the beginning of this introduction video, um, we want to make sure we have a purpose. And for me, that purpose is service. Um, so if we're driven by the purpose to serve other individuals, then I think you'll find that um, just about anything you do in life, whether it be dental assisting, or service in another career or at home, um, focus on service will tend to lead to a great deal of personal and professional satisfaction. So this picture here that you can see, that's uh, Albuquerque, the city of Albuquerque where I practiced and lived for about three and a half years. This is up the Sandia Mountains. So let's take another view of this particular location um, at night in the snow. So you can see it's, again, it's a very, very beautiful, um, different perspective. Um, and that, that directly correlates to our purpose-driven, service-centered piece. We all come from different perspectives. Um, we can all bring a great deal of information into our particular training, into our ability to serve uh, others within the dental assisting field. So for what it's worth, use what you have, your personal experience in the past, going forward to help uh, bless and serve the lives of others. So that's the end of the course introduction. Um, the, the next lesson will be lesson one we'll, where we will start to dig into on the introduction of dental assisting. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoy.